There we go. Got it. And audio. I used to actually walk through the tunnel Thanks, of snow Ed. to get where I was going. I mean, it was it was four feet tall. I got it. Ed. Thank you. Ready to go? Yep. Okay, everybody. It is five thirty-six p.m. It is. This is January the 9th, 20, 2020. This is the work session of the Trinidad Urban Renewal Authority. Item number one on the work set this on the work session agenda is uh, the TIF the tax increment finance information that was provided to us by uh, Jody Amaro, <coughs> Jody Amaro, the Trinidad, I mean the Los Angeles County Assessor. The estimated and estimated numbers for the upcoming year uh, that we will be receiving is right about forty thousand nine hundred and eighty-five dollars. Nice. So it's it's. Uh, a little bit up from prior years, uh, and, and, and to be expected, that's going to happen. But uh, you know, we, we are seeing the numbers come in, so you know the, the amounts payable over the next year expected to be for just short of forty-one thousand dollars. Nice. Do you have any questions on that? Any comments on that? Other than it sounds good to me. It's nice to have. <laughs> Uh, item number two in the work session uh, agenda and in your packet, uh, as you all know by what I provided, is my five-year term is coming up, is expiring, and I am up for reappointment uh, in February. So I did, with a little bit of additional thinking about it, did resubmit my application uh, for consideration for appointment. And so the... Uh, process is that it has to go through the board here if it's a vetting process whatever it has to be but uh, it, you know, I, I have to pass your scrutiny in order to uh, get this on to the next level so uh, that is uh, the information was provided in there as well as the actual uh, interest form I provided to you a copy of that which was submitted so is there anything that anybody would like to Ask me on that because that's, that's the Are process. Are you the only one that applied? I am the only one that applied. <laughs> <laughs> and we thank goodness you applied. <laughs> I, for one, wholeheartedly support your reappointment and yes. thank you for continuing on with us. Yes. Well, on, I, again, I had it was one of those things where I, I did have a little bit. You know, I mean, I, I've been here five years. No reasons. But but the thing of it is, is this is just not a point in time where I would have been able to not be, be here with a clear conscience. I think we have things in front of us. We are lacking an executive director. There are things to be done. So my feeling of it is, is that for this particular time, it wouldn't be with clear conscience that I could walk away. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Well, if there's nothing else on that, it will be moved, or it is an item in the uh, regular meeting. Uh, that uh, that uh, uh, recommendation for appointment, which will then be sent on to the mayor and city council for their uh, official appointment. Item number three, and we don't have any literature on that, is just to uh, wanted to discuss because we've uh, redone our facade program, uh, our facade uh, stabilization program, whatever we call it, the, 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 the next thing we're going to, if we're going to create any uh, success to this, we need to be able to get that out there and we need to make a determination on how we would like to pursue that. Uh, obviously, you know, print Print article in newspaper is one, uh, but you know we need to have the social media thing or however else. But I think we need to devise something to get that out there. I'd like to see that program get off the ground. It's off the ground, but it's not where if it should. If we be. advertise, may I make a point to say, make sure you say it has to be in the historic district. Yes. Make sure we make that really clear. And, and we will. I mean, that's one of the things, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll devise an ad uh, because we're, we're starting to approach farm season again. Mm -hmm. And if anybody's going to undertake construction projects or mm -hmm. do renovation mm -hmm. projects, mm -hmm. the, the warm weather's for that will, that will be the beginning point. So I'd like to, you know, get that out there and get, get that uh, uh, put together. So it's just a matter of, uh, I need some suggestion of how we would want to do it. And we can, you know, an, an ad can be devised. And 
and uh, you know we can have something available uh, on our through social media too. Yeah, really. Okay, so, so this is it's the same ad. Street. We can probably be happy to uh, post it on their Facebook site. Okay, oh, that would be good. That I'd would like be to get out. We just because we, we we need to create a prototype that would uh, who's a good graphic artist in, in City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> we put it together. We can we'll get somebody uh, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we if, if, if we'll put something. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I would assist with it. It's not. Yeah. Like, you know, we would assist with sure. it. We just need somebody because when it comes to being able to do that, I don't have those talents. I can tell you ahead of time. Mine are mine are pretty rough. These. Some of these documents see in letters, that's probably the best I can do. <laughs> <laughs> so so to say that I can put it, but I, I mean I, I can put the content together, I don't think that's a problem. It just in, in order to make it to be a nice a nice format that it can be taken to print at the Chronicle News. You know, I'd like to run it probably there a couple of times right. and then we can get it out and you know, like you say in historic Trinidad if they need. I'm sure they would be they would accommodate us by doing that by whatever other means. Our, our well, what about the tree uh, the city uh, website? Can we? We can we can post something there. Yeah. That was that was one of my you questions. Can share the city website. Uh, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> us, sort of. We're we're working on that. Wally has come on board and he's working toward that. Mainly, our problem is. <laughs> um, we have to be ADA compliant and yes. everything, so it has to be all vetted through that. But um, I envision this article saying facade program for applications right. come to City Hall, or do it, we'll have the applications here? Well, that yeah, that's what the yeah. applications are here. They're picked up here and they're submitted here. Right. Uh, so yeah. So it, and, and I think uh, yeah, we'll, and we'll specify all that. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. get it together, and then how, whatever media we use, newspaper and or electronic, it'll it'll be in there. But I just, you know, that was one of my thoughts. Is we we need to talk about it. We we revamped it. Now we got to make it work, and it's not going to work until we get that out there to the to the property owners that would be able to implement it. So. And we could also do like we did with the first run, and that is a letter to the businesses and or property owners within the designated area indicating that the program has been revised and attaching a copy of the new program. Please help that. Of what? Would we have that list of labels somewhere that we could merge and get that back out? We did a mass mailing of them. We would have those businesses that are licensed. Um, we just have to... I mean, I, 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 I made a whole list of you did. last year. Okay, so you we just it. have to revise, take a look at it and make sure mm -hmm. all those addresses are within the district. You mm -hmm. get that too. Yeah. Yep. Sure enough. Yeah, we can, we can, we can, we can uh, make amendments to the letter and then send it out and see if we can generate it that. But, and that's the only thing we did the last time. So now we need to, if we're, gonna, we're not only going to do that, but we'll reinforce it by other means, by print ad and however else out there to make sure that, you know, get it out there. If it doesn't go anywhere, well, it's not because we didn't try it. But I want to get it out there because the, the first one was, you know, the, the effort was there, but it wasn't a sufficient effort, and now we got it out there. I think we put enough time and sweat into it that we wanted to go somewhere. Well, I don't want it to die for the lack of a second. When we do it, it might not be a bad idea to do it in maybe the, the World Journal and the Chronicle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Um, we been on this for, I'm sure, a good year. And we didn't give up any money last year. Are we going to stick to our cap of 30000 Or does that roll over for another 30000 this year? Well, we're still, we're we're still, I'm, I'm looking at, you know, we're in that year of 30000 I don't know whether we're going to create any additional to it. If, again, in that document, you can, you'll see where the disclaimer or the whole harmless is, is that we want to come in and make a modification. We can if the popularity was there, or the pop or the popularity is gained, mm -hmm. and there's going to be out there, and we say, hey, we're going to exhaust our thirty, and oh, there's more applicants that we could do. I think we could we could we could make that change through the year if we need to do it. When I when I when I redid the document, that was put in there that allows us to make that change if, if we needed to do.
do it. So, um, you know, but I'm, I, you know, at this point, it's a matter of, you know, our success is going to be just to be able to get applicants and use that thirty thousand. You know, I'd like to, you know, it would be nice to say, hey, there's a groundswell of, of interest and all that's going to happen, but we've not yet, we've not yet been able to attain anything to get first dollar out on, on the uh, initial. So, you know, I, I, I don't know whether we want to revamp or revise. That we need to. Yeah. Have we heard from the last applicant at all? I'm not. I'm not. I, you know, in, in my opinion, the, the letter that I provided, I think it was self-explanatory. We need information, and so you know, it, it, it's just I will wait. We will wait to see what's been what he comes up with to take that to the next step. So he brings it in more in, in a more complete complete manner where he can take it go forward. But, you know, it will be done when that happens. So I guess what I guess we'll do is uh, we'll try to conjure up something and send it out to everybody in advance of even next month's meeting. Because you know, everybody has to look at it. If you once once it's out, give your comments and and approvals to get it ready, and then we can make that uh, happen next month. Because like I said, we're, we're approaching warm season, so if anything's going to start happening, but we're, 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 yeah. you know, that's usually one of the beginning points of construction. Okay. Well, and back to the letter itself. I think it's really important that we attach the program to the letter. Right. So the people have it right in front of them. Like the, you mean the, just the, the policy, policy. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. I was wondering what if we said, I know, because how long is the application? It's just what? Three like a couple of pages. Yeah. What yeah. if we, so if we sent them that too? I think that's a good idea. I mean, that's a great sense, idea. But I don't know about postage. I mean, it's they're not going to cost you any more than that stamp anyway. So. Right. Yeah. But, but at my, how about well, you see the print on both sides? Yeah. I, I, my opinion, you send them out the, the letter saying, hey, applications are available right. at City Hall. Um, otherwise, okay. if you send out 30 and one person says, hey, I, I like to do this, you just kill the tree because others are going to say, <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to do this. How about just the policy. App application right. and guidelines are available yeah. at City Hall. Right. Okay. Or by contacting, because the last time it included all the commissioners' names, uh, or by contacting commissioners. Oh, okay. Because we, we did include it, because I did, I did have a couple of people actually, one guy pulled over on the street, pulled me over to the curb, and, hey, what does this mean? <laughs> 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 I, I do think we need to send the program out. Yeah, we get policies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Send, out, send out the, 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 the copy of the guidelines or the policy so they get an idea of, of where it's at. And that could create a real interest. I mean, it could it could go nowhere, but it could create it and bring, you know, get, get some. Yes. You know, we'll, once we get our first hit on it, there may be the second one that look, looks favorably on it and come for application. And um, if, we, if we are able to get a notice on the city website, could we have a link there to the uh, policy in the application? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll and they're all thinking. Um, no, <laughs> we, we can't. Uh, we've, we've got other forms on there. We just have to make sure the form is ADA compatible. And, uh, what's that? You have to listen audio too. Yeah. So we'll, we'll look into that. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll get working on that, and uh, if you have any suggestions for it, though, uh, uh, send it to Brittany, who will send it to me, uh, if, you, if you've got them, because any, any help will be very, very much appreciated in trying to put it all, get it to where it needs to go. Any other uh, comments on that particular topic? Item number four, discussion of items that we want to put on next month's agenda and next month's meeting will take place on February the 13th. It's, for, it's a Thursday, so it's not, it's not bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Brittany, I can't say that I have forgotten, but it didn't go to the top of my list because we're going to go through that office down there and go through all the documents and all the things associated to uh, urban renewal. 
is just you know tough and I, my toughness doesn't go weak about the 15th of this month so yes. after that I can open up just a little bit <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it should lighten up a little bit it's not going to go away but it'll lighten up I'm in the health fair moments oh, yeah. so it, 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 it ends up on the 15th so that'll free me up a little bit of daytime tax season oh, period <laughs> pardon me I said just the tax season period yeah okay then if there are no other uh comments or questions or anything to come forward in the work session agenda, we are going to move forward to our regular agenda for uh, today. It is now 5.52 p.m. It is, this is January the 9th, 2020. This is the regular meeting of the City Council of the City of the Trinidad Urban Renewal Authority <laughs> the City of Trinidad. Roll call. Bolton? Here. Leone? Here. Lopez? Mateo? Here. Trevino, Volani, Grego. Here. And just for the record, I was contacted today by Commissioner Volani indicating that she had a uh, health, health issue uh, or illness and didn't want to put anybody else in jeopardy or risk by being here. So she felt that it was best that she not be here and which I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, also in your packets relating uh, to the roll call, and you will note that in there, there is a letter that was sent uh, from myself to uh, Commissioner Kirby uh, in regard to his attendance and meeting and trying to get a determination of where that will be in the immediate future. So uh, it's there, and you all provided with a copy. Any response to that? I have not received a response to date. Item number two, approval of minutes. And everyone was provided with a, uh, an advanced copy of the minutes for the meeting of December 12, 2019. Assuming everybody's had that opportunity to review, is there a motion? I'd make a motion to approve the minutes from December 12, 2019 as, as presented. Motion by Commissioner Bolton. Second. second by Commissioner Leone. Any further questions or comments? Roll call. Bolton? Yes. Leone? Yes. Mateo? Yes. Grego? Yes. Item number three, <coughs> acceptance of the financial report. And it remains, remains pretty much steady going forward. Uh, our review balance in our checking account right now sits at $210,713.74. A nice number. Yes. Motions? I'd make a motion to accept the financial report as presented. I'll second. And a second. Any questions or comments? Roll call. Bolton? Yes. Leone? Yes. Mateo? Yes. Grego? Uh, yes. Item number four, consideration of bills. <coughs> I don't believe we have any. <coughs> Item number five, petitions or communications, oral or written. Uh, at this time, uh, City Manager Mike Valentine would like to give us some information and an update regarding a recent uh, uh, matter which involved the transfer of land in the City of Trinidad to the Trinidad Urban Renewal Authority. Mr. Valentine. Thank you, Chairman. Commissioners. Um, so the City went ahead and approved to deed the property over to Urban Reno, the property in question off of Cedar uh, and Chestnut over there, we know where it's at. Um, we went through, our attorney drafted up the deed and we went, actually ran it by uh, Malcolm Murray and they said everything was good. Uh, it's actually in the process of being recorded, um, but What's come up is it's a <coughs> quit claim deed, which means we quit claim any interest we have in the property over to you. Um, I, in discussion with people, have come to me saying, "Hey, what's going on?" I said, "They're going to, you know, Urban Renewal is going to uh, have." I've had two people contact me on the property, so. Uh, I said you would have a plan, and I said they're going to request a warranty deed. I mean, if somebody's going to pick up that property and uh, do anything with it, 
good business person is going to want a warranty deed. So um, we did some research uh, back to where the, the property came forth to us from Hendrickson, from Oil Davis. Um, there was a warranty deed back there, then it went to quick claim, quick claim, quick claim. So what I'm suggesting is uh, we are going to meet with uh, Turn That Abstract tomorrow and see what we can do to get a title search and get a warranty deed from the city to Urban Renewal so that going forward you you have a valid deed to the property. Uh, that being said, uh, the two people that have contacted me are jumping at the bit, so just letting you know, and I'm, I'm telling them, you know, that's up to Urban Renewal on how they are going to proceed with their uh, advertisement for the property and the, their project plan and everything. So, um, well, look, uh, the, the first step is, is to have deep, deep the title to the property, which Thankfully, it's going to go. It's going to hit it in the in the direction of a warranty. Yeah. How did the city, I mean, those those predecessors, how did they end up giving it to the city? I mean, there had to be a trade somewhere. Uh, somewhere along the line, something must have been traded. Yeah, uh, for some consideration there somewhere. Actually, hang on. I don't know if it says one dollar and other good and valuable considerations, but we got it from Hendrickson, who got it from O.L. Davis. O.L. Davis was the lumber yard right at the time. Um, no, we paid. Well, should I say this out loud? We paid two thousand dollars for it. <laughs> back then, two thousand bucks was two thousand dollars back in. Uh, let's see. Yes. That'd be pre Civil War. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually 1960, the year of our Lord, 1960. But still, $2,000 is a lot. That was yeah, a lot of money in, in, yeah. Uh, yeah. in that year. Yeah. We don't so know why you paid to do that. I bet you, I bet you, there was probably something back then yeah. that has to do with the, probably the acquisition of the property where the power and light used to be, which mm -hmm. is the Hughes. And I'll bet you that tied in, so you know, those two came and became a contiguous yep. piece of land. I'll bet you that's where that ties in, too. Yeah. Before Hughes Lumber, it was a Wild Davis. Wild Davis. Davis. Yeah. Wild Davis Lumber Company. Yep. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Yep. Well, as a kid, there was a guy who used to drive a truck. He was a delivery guy. And they had a 49 Chevy pickup, a blue Chevy pickup. And he used to live about a block away from us. He used to come home with that truck for lunch every I remember the Wild Davis. <laughs> So with that being said, uh, we're going to, tomorrow we're going down to the abstract company to start the process. I'm hoping it doesn't take long. Um, and then, well, I don't know, planning attack for how we're going to advertise that. But I'm not mm -hmm. Well, the, the thing there is, is we, there, there will be, and this is my opinion, it'll be uh, with, with everybody's uh, concurrence, but we will we will be contacting uh, Malcolm Murray to be able to guide us through. There are, I mean, it, it's it's spelled out in state statute which right. where that has to go. So it's a basically it's going to be offered for sale, and this and, and those the terms the terms uh, for, we're going to solicit bids. I guess you want to say it. we have to we have to determine a fair value on it, and there's a differentiation in there as as in the as it states in the statute. It's a fair value not fair market value, it's just right. a fair value. And we would we'll, we will solicit 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 bids and proposals for whoever would like to take possession of That bid is the monetary amount, the proposal is for what the uh, land would be used for. And then there's a bidding of the individual or bidder of whether or not they have the capabilities of carrying out what it is they say they're going to do. So it doesn't become a, a piece of property that goes out for speculation. Whoever says they're going to do what they're going to do with it, it has to be, and that will be the caveat, and that will be the, technically, the feet to the fire. Mm -hmm. You said you're going to do it, you got to do it. And you have to be able to show that you have the financial wherewithal experience or whatever else to 
be able to perform as laid out in the proposal. So it's you know it, 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 it's 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 not it's it's not our rule. It's a state rule. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, please. Um, as I told you before, I'm interested. So, in the grant program. Who you your name up? Oh, Tom Murphy. Okay. Sorry. Um, so I'm interested, and in if if we're successful, you know, in the spring, I'll put up a sign and, and help. You know, that hey, you guys help do this or whatever. So. Absolutely. I'll do whatever I can. I'll do it pretty easy. Well, is the grant done now? Is, it, is the form? No, it's ready to go. We're, we're, we're set to go. You know, we're there, the, the, we adopted the, uh, the new guide. We amended. We amended and tried to make them a little bit broader so it, 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 it's, a, it's, it's a more appealable and it, and it works for more people. Okay. So that application is available here at City Hall. It will come, it will be returned to City Hall. Then it becomes, uh, you know, I, I don't know, are we appointing people to do it in each application, or is that going to remain under the purview of myself and Commissioner Vaughn? <laughs> Once I it gets here, we'll, we'll take it, but that's an extra. Uh, we'll uh, go uh, up. If, you, if, it, if it's not successful, I'll do whatever I can to help promote Well, thank you. We, we so, appreciate that. I mean, yeah. It's something that, that uh, I don't know, you help it just by having your services here providing the televised thing for it. So, but yeah, those those are available right now. I mean, okay. you, could, you could pick that up tomorrow from. Yeah, well, I was going great guns, and then the weather changed earlier in October than what we thought. And it's like, okay, you did, you did, yeah. I could gamble when it's fifty degrees, but if it freezes, it's yeah. like, yeah. uh, we'll send you the app and the and the guidelines to show what documentation has to come in. Cool, thanks, Thank guys. Good. Anybody else? Move on to item number six: old business. We're having no business. Yeah. Item number seven, new business. And the new business is the uh, matter for the appointment or reappointment of Edward Rego to the Trinidad so River we need, a, we, need a, we need a motion to send your name back to City Council yes. for yes. approval, correct? Right. It has to, we, they have to know that it was approved here, the vetting process was done here, and that I have attended at least one meeting. In order to be <laughs> to make that pull, that's 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 the that's the guidelines. Is there has to be vetting the in, the letter, the vetting, and that I have to have attended one meeting. Okay, so I'd I like think to I qualify on the that meeting. motion. There's a motion for approval. Second. Motion and a second. For the questions, comments, roll call. Volta. Yes. Yoni. Yes. Mate. Yes. Diego. Yes, I guess. <laughs> yes, I guess. <laughs> I put it. I put it in. I guess I better go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Item number number eight, a report by executive director. And obviously, there is no uh, executive director at this particular time. That's a matter we'll handle in the future as uh, we deem necessary. But I'm uh, giving up my best shot of trying to take care of those things. Brady and I are trying to take care of all the things that we has, done. has the city been looking for one? Or? Uh, for one. For, one for, a, for a city manager? Yes. So what happened is where, where it fell with the transition of new old council to new council, they wanted to wait. So just Tuesday, the new council was seated. So I will then ask for direction on, on what they want to do moving forward. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Just for clarification. It, it, when we originally started up the executive director, we had was Tara Marshall, who I'm not sure she had several positions, so that's where that was. After that, it, it, it went to the city manager, and only because it was it, it fell within something that he had the time to do. And so as we went forward, that's how it was. Excuse the, me, was it sure. Jonathan? Yes. And, 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 Jonathan, was and then Jonathan. Jonathan, he was the economic development director, mm -hmm. and then it transitioned to uh, to, to Greg. So it, it over over time in what the beginning was it we, we uh, it was agreed by the city that they would lend us the resources of city staff to have either somebody would be our executive director that doesn't mean it will always be that way uh, you know it, it could be within you know we don't know how that will be but uh, th that's how that's where it's been it was Tara who was very instrumental in actually the reorganization revitalization 
of, of, uh, of uh, Trinidad Urban Renewal Authority, and she stayed for a while, then he went to uh, Jonathan, and now I'm going to leave to Greg's son. And so, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that our, our executive debt director would be in the city manager's office. It could be somebody in City Hall or somebody not at all from the city. We didn't do anything there, and I still don't think that we, we have the projects and actually the financial resources that we could support that position. But as time goes, you know, that something may happen and we may have to do it on a fee-for-service basis with a con consultant or an independent because, I, you know, there may be that time, but I don't know that it's in our immediate future that we're going to need that. Okay. Item number nine, reports by commissioners. Does anybody have anything they would like to report? I have nothing. Nothing? Anything you want to complain about? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, I have nothing as well that I can that comes to mind. Uh, so that being the case, we're to item number ten and a motion for adjournment, please. So we move. Second. 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 Motion is second. So I will dissent the votes. We will call this meeting to adjourn. By chance, do you have uh, mm -hmm. a uh, Well, you. Yeah.